Hey guys, what's going on? It's me Nathan. Just want to say uh, good evening to everyone, both the East and West Coast. Hope you guys enjoyed your day today here on Thursday. If you guys are also looking forward to the weekend coming up, start tomorrow on Friday. And for this video tonight, of what I want to talk about is Brad Bell reveals five insane things scheduled to hit the bowl and in beautiful. So, let's go into it. The link will be in the description below. This is from Combra Clifford on the uh, post on the 30th of November of 2016. It was posted this week right here on uh, Wednesday of this week. And it says, The Bold and Beautiful knows thing or two about jaw-dropping cuckoo storylines and the CBS daytime show's executive producer, head writer, Bradley Bell, has gone all out to prepare a nutty ride that will take viewers through the holidays and beyond. He spilled the details to TV Insider with these juicy nuggets slated to slam onto your screen in the months ahead. Number one, one more taking over, Kardashian style. On Wednesday, December 14th, Sylvie Forrester, played by Jacqueline McKenzie Woods, will accept an honor from Quinn, played by Rena Sulphur, to become the new CEO of Forrester Creations, leaving the two arch enemies working side by side. It might sound crazy, but Belle has a perfectly good explanation as to why Steffi accepts the offer from a woman who she hates. <clears throat> Quote, Steffi is very moved by the honor the executive shares. Her grandfather, Eric, played by John McCook, wants this to happen from the bottom of his heart and sees it as a true passion of the baton. Besides, it's time for a woman to run things, and it's a provocative opportunity. Wyatt, played by Darren Brooks, has the pr promotional savvy to make Steffi a household name with millions of online followers. She'll become an influencer, as they say nowadays. She's going to be our show's Ka uh, Kardashian, and it's because of Wyatt. They are going to do great things together. Number two, Quinn really is a changed woman. Like, seriously. As unbelievable as it may be, Quinn begins to truly admire and care for Steffi. So much so, Belle says her material instincts kick in. Quote, Quinn has been changed forever by Eric's life and trust in her, the scribe shares. Quote, it's a Tammy of the shoe story. He believed in her when no one else did and she'll never forget it. And she'll never, never forget it, excuse me. Number three, Quinn's... Quinn's most formidable film may be Maya. Quote, Maya is really going to take issue with Quinn and stand up to her. Don't forget, Maya's portrait is still freshly off the wall, replaced by that portrait of Quinn, Bell teases. Quote, and Rick, played by Jacob Young, has done a spectacular job with international sales. So, Steffi's CEO appointment really st stings. You mess with Rick and you're messing with Maya. Richard Brooke get engaged, but might not hear wedding bells. The famous couple is scheduled to hit the sheets on Monday, December 5th, and they become engaged shortly. However, they are unlikely to make it down the aisle. Quote, Rich will be so consumed with what's happening at Forster that it may get in the way of those weighing plans, says Bell. Quote, and we haven't heard the last from Bill Spencer, played by Don Diamond. He's a man who gets what he wants, and he's not giving up on Brooke. And number five, there's a damn good reason, excuse me, damn good historical reason, Katie and Quinn have become enemies. Longtime fans might be scratching their heads over why Quinn certainly has an issue with Katie, played by Heather Tom, but Bell defends the storyline term with a lovable gem from his father, the show's late co creator, Bill Bell. Bill Bell, excuse me. Quote That storyline is going to play big in 2017. It's a very delicious thing to explore, especially with Rena and Heather, two great actresses who have never had much to do together on screen, he explains. Quote This whole thing started with my wanting to see them mix it up. My dad used to, used to do it that way. Laughs, he, he say. Names on the page. That's where he started with a story between two characters. I say, but they have nothing in common. What are they going to talk about? And he laughs and say, well, I don't know yet. But damn, it's going to be good. For Bell's full, full interview, click uh, check out TV Insider. And that's uh, where Michael Logan interviews soap stars and actors. And uh, creative team, writing teams, producers as well. So, uh... I'm sure that Michael Logan is interviewing Bradley Bell. What do you think about Bill Bell? What do you think about what Bell has planned for the months ahead? What are you most excited about? What storylines of any could you do without? Share your thoughts in the comments section below on our message boards or by submitting feedback. Um, so let's go down uh, these uh, future um, future uh, plot points one by one. The first one. One more taking over production style. Steffi Forster becoming a new CEO for Creations, uh, thanks to Quinn. Um, you know, as much as I do understand where B and B is going with you know Quinn 
was not a changed woman because of Eric. I think that Stephanie should still keep her guard up and, you know, know that even though Quinn has, has done this nice thing for her, it does not erase everything that Qu <clears throat> Quinn has done to the likes of e, um, wa um, Liam and so many others. So it will be good to see Stephanie Forster as CEO of Force Creations, but if I was Quinn, I would watch out. Number two, Quinn really is a changed woman. Like, seriously. Um, you know, as much as I do like Quinn being changing her ways, I don't want her to really change that much. I want her to still be the woman who was scrappy, feisty, someone who can fight someone head on in business or whatever, and still be, you know, sneaky, shady too. And shady too to, you know, those who are a threat to her as well. But not go off the real deep end. So uh, that's, what, that's what I want to see. Quinn's most formidable foe may be Maya. Now, this uh, storyline I'm very interested in as well because we all know Maya uh, and Rick have been wanting to take control and power of Force Creations ever since they um, stepped down or were fired or whatever. But I think that seeing that Quinn as the uh, one in charge and Steffi as CEO, they both want to reclaim their uh, you know place at the top of Force Creations. And, um, you know, to me, am I a big Rick and Maya fan? No, not really. I think that um, even though uh, the transgender story, transgender storyline, um, in a way, put Rick and Maya on the map, I just found them kind of, the chemistry between them was there, but it just kind of fizzled out once the whole reveal of Maya being transgender, I mean, transgender came out. So, but I'm interested to see uh, scenes between Rhea Sulphur and, and uh, Maya and, and uh, Jacob Young too. Rick, Rich and Brooke, get, excuse me, Rich and Brooke get engaged, but might not hear Wayne bells. I think we knew that this was coming. Um, we all know that Rich and Brooke are going to get married again, and um, I think that this time around, with Rich getting so consumed with work, it's going to make Brooke feel that uh, Rich is taking the is taking things for granted. And that's what I think was what's going to happen, and Bill. He's going to take uh, the distraction and take full advantage of it and not back down. So, to me, I you know, I'm, I really don't care about the storyline, but at least they're trying to make this interesting, so I'll, I'll see what happens with it. And last but not least, there's a damn good historical reason for Katie and Quinn have become enemies. Uh, there were scenes between both uh, Rena Sulphur and Heather Tom a couple weeks ago on the B&B, and uh, I'm glad that they're going to explore this more as well. I would I like to see uh, the chemistry between both Heather and Rena to see where it goes. I think that this would be a very entertaining and fun storyline for B&B uh, &B fans who like uh, Heather and Rena and want to see more of them on screen. So, all in all, it's very good. Um, I, th I think these are very good plot points, and I hope that, you know, Bradley Bell on the writing team can take full advantage of it and, you know, try to at least make things interesting. Don't forget, guys, when 2017 comes, I think that it's going to be the Bone Beautiful's 30th anniversary. So, um, so B&B will be returning 30 years old. Um, and so I hope that B&B takes the advantage of, of this opportunity and um, that they, you know, celebrate B&B's historical run on CBS Daytime and that they're able to... Um, you know, look back and remember the memories, the moments, and focus on these storylines and try to at least make, um, create new ones that will fit, get fans tuned in and also try to bring back some old favorites from the past too. Um, but uh, tell me comments what guys say about this. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Are you more neutral about Bradley, uh, Brad Bell really the five insane uh, previews for uh, the rest of uh, 2016 and hey, 2013 or so, tell me in the subscribe down below. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget always to subscribe to the channel, guys. And until next time, it was Dead Said Peace. Take care. We'll see you guys there for this video coming up uh, tomorrow morning or in a couple of minutes. So stay tuned. So until next time, take care, guys. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Have a good night. We'll see you guys tomorrow for more content to come. Bye. Have a good night. We'll see you guys tomorrow. So stay tuned.